All right, so welcome to our 10 a.m. Collider coffee break this Friday morning. Thanks for joining us to hear a little bit about what we've been up to at Collider this week and what we want to share with you. Um, so Jamie will start us off this morning, so I'll send it over to him. Thanks so much. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we're betraying any secrets here to say that uh, we record this on Thursdays. And obviously, um, that matters this week because this is Give to the Max Day uh, in in Minnesota. And I uh, there's a lot we're doing around fundraising for Collider uh, today. So uh, hopefully, when you view this tomorrow, uh, you could check our, our site and see how much money we've raised, and it's a great amount. Uh, but right now, we're still very much in the in the middle of things. So I just wanted to encourage you all to consider giving to Collider. Uh, during this day, we do have a match, and we'll talk about that uh, towards the end of a generous donor that stepped up to uh, just basically match the funds that are raised between now and the end of the year. Uh, so it's very important uh, that you that you consider donating to Collider. And what I want to also say is, uh, if if you don't choose to donate to Collider. There's so many other great nonprofits out there doing some great work in the state. Um, you know, you get to vote with your dollar and we are perfectly fine with that. At the same time, there's a lot of businesses hurting in the region. And, um, you know, if you choose not to even uh, contribute, start thinking about how you can support your local businesses more. And we'll be pushing out some content related to that as well. Uh, but just uh, it's it's time to kind of for everybody to put their money where their mouth is. So please support your favorite thing. We hope it's Collider. If it's not, please support your local nonprofits. And 100% everybody should be supporting local businesses during these trying times. So that's kind of a downer, I know, but it's important to get across to people. So that's pretty much all I have this week. So I'll send it back to Amanda. All right. So um, this Wednesday, we... I was very excited to release our 200th podcast episode on Rochester Rising. So I was joined by um, some, some entrepreneurial friends to talk about why storytelling is so important, not just through Rochester Rising, but just in general, and what that does for the entrepreneurial community. And for the first time, we did a hybrid audio and video podcast. So check it out. Uh, you can find it on our website as well as on our Facebook and YouTube. So I just wanted to say as well, thanks to everyone who's been listening into the podcast over the last episodes, whether you just started or you've been here since episode one. Greatly appreciate being able to share these stories with you and you continuing to listen in as well as to everyone who's trusted us to share their stories over the years. So yesterday, or as now you all know, today was the latest WE Forum, the Women Entrepreneurs Forum um, that I was able to join or I guess co-host now uh, talking about social media management and or how you can use social media to grow your customer base. And I thought there were three really amazing panelists with very different views and experiences, um, including Sherry Mukherjee, who um, a lot of people know her from being the spiced up mom and being on MasterChef, um, Tiffany Alexandria, who runs Choo Choo Kachu, a local food blog and general social media management food um, promoter in the area, and Beth Finbo, who has a product for um, that she developed for, for babies. So very different uh, perspectives. It was a great conversation. Um, hopefully we'll have a write-up on that on Rochester Rising over the next couple of weeks. I know Thanksgiving is weird with people consuming content, but if not, the, the YouTube video is definitely out there, and we will make sure to share that with you whenever it gets posted. And lastly, I know we're talking about Give to the Max Day, and we definitely want you to support small businesses as much as possible during this very challenging time. But we also know that there are some things you will buy on Amazon just because you will. So if you do that, we'd really, first of all, we encourage you to buy local. If you do buy online and you're going to, then we encourage you to use Amazon Smile. And with that, um, some percentage of your purchase will be donated to Collider if you use the special link. So we'll put the link in the show notes or in wherever you're listening in so that you can do that. Um, it adds up pretty fast if people do it because I know we do a lot of shopping on Amazon and it's exactly the same as regular Amazon. So really encourage you to think about that as you're purchasing this holiday season if you are not purchasing or when you are not purchasing locally. 
So I will send it back to Jamie for final thoughts today. So uh, we are fortunate and privileged to announce that Collider has received a $20,000 donation from the Chambers family in Eldevron. Uh, if you don't know Michael Chambers, he started uh, Eldevron in Fargo, North Dakota about 20 plus years ago, um, has built it into a massive worldwide company with offices in Fargo, Madison, and Freiburg, Germany. And he's uh, does just done an amazing amount of, of great uh, things for the, the Fargo-Moorhead area. And I'm privileged uh, that all those years ago, we'll say 20 plus-ish years ago, I was fortunate enough to be a classmate of his uh, at North Dakota State University. And actually the first business connection I ever made was for uh, Mike in, in, a, uh, in, in the student union of North Dakota State University. I just wanted to introduce him to someone that I thought could help his business. And little did I know that would actually start this uh, addiction to connecting people to resources and individuals who could help their businesses. Um, but, uh, you know, I've, I've remained friends uh, with the Chambers family, uh, both Mike and Victoria, who uh, just have been wonderful people over the years. And now they're fantastic children um, who are, I think, starting to uh, think about entrepreneurship as well. And I can't wait to see what they do. Uh, but, you know, he stepped up in a big way and wanted to support the work we do here at Collider. So um, he has challenged us all to match his donations. So that's why we're kind of talking a lot about donating uh, for this holiday season, because, again, it's a significant gift and we cannot thank him enough for uh, doing that. Um, something else you might have seen yesterday, because we're pretending this is, you know, Friday is a series of videos I produced on a day in the life of an ecosystem builder. Um, I'm trickling these out on Thursday just to kind of give you an idea of what we do at Collider. And it was all triggered by this morning. I hadn't even thought of this. I don't think it was pre-prepared or anything like that because we don't do that here. Um, but I woke up this morning and this, isn't a, this is just a visual cue, but I had five, a $5 donation in my inbox for Give to the Max Day. And it was from my daughter. And she said, you know, I, I know that you need to raise money. I know that, you know, it, it, she just, I, I was blown away. The fact that, that she gave $5 of her own money, actually figured out how to do the Apple Pay and everything to donate money through Give to the Max. Um, that, as a father, made me very proud. It also uh, kind of ignited a, a desire to see uh, this $500 turn into a lot more money and, and just to support the great work that Amanda and I do here at, at Collider. So um, if that isn't a pep talk, I don't know what is. When your own daughter could step up and say, I believe in you, Dad, hopefully uh, many more in the community will believe in us as, as well. So I will turn it back to Amanda for her final thought. All right. Well, Thanks for everyone for, for joining us this morning. Uh, we hope if you're able that you can support us um, or that you did support us yesterday, but even continuing into the future. And we put out a lot of content um, to let you know exactly how you can and try to make it as easy as possible. So we greatly appreciate you all tuning in today. Um, and really the easiest way, if you're sitting there just saying, I can't financially support this at this time, just like this video. It's so easy and it greatly, greatly helps us. It increases the visibility or share it with one person um, that we could help or that um, needs to know about what we're doing here. So again, thanks everyone for listening in today and enjoy your weekend.